with the release of John Wick 4 rapidly approaching, the hype is getting real. Fans have been long awaiting the fourth installment of the action series, which promises to be the most intense and action-packed entry into the series yet. A recent poster has been revealed, which may let fans in on some details about the upcoming film. Also, in this video, we'll be covering who is set to appear in the film and what's next for the John Wick franchise after the fourth installment. We'll also be discussing what Reeves himself had to say about the project and what made it so special. Stick around to the end to hear everything you want to know about the popular action franchise. First, what does the new poster reveal about John Wick Chapter 4? With fans eager to find out exactly what's going to take place in John Wick Chapter 4, this new poster may reveal a key theme running through the movie. It's an incredibly minimalistic poster, yet still reveals a lot about the trials that Wick will be going through in the film. It simply features a close-up shot of the titular character with a characteristically tough expression on his face. The detail we're talking about is easy to miss, but if you look at his tie, you'll see it. It's not a tie around his neck at all, but an hourglass. Yet instead of being sand that's running through, we see bullets. This tells us several things about the plot of the film. First is that with the image of the hourglass, we can tell that Wick will be in a race against time. Especially with the hourglass on the poster being nearly empty, it's not entirely clear if Wick will be able to escape his fate this time around. The second important detail to note here is the bullets. What this shows us is regardless of what trials Wick will be facing in this movie, his path will more than likely be lined with tons of violence. Although we can only speculate based on this poster, the image of an hourglass filled with bullets feels more than appropriate for the John Wick franchise and promises a high-stakes, action-packed film. While we can only imagine what the film will be like, who will be making the action happen on screen? You, uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. Oh, well. Next, what is John Wick Chapter 4's cast looking like? Fans of the franchise are likely wondering whether their favorite characters will be making a return and who the new additions to the franchise will be. Aside from Keanu Reeves himself, who else will be making appearances in the new film? Several fan-favorite characters will be returning, including Reeves' Matrix co-star Lawrence Fishburne as Bowery King, Lance Riddick as Sharon, and Ian McShane as Winston. Some new appearances include the antagonist of the film, Pennywise himself, Bill Skarsgård as the Marquis. We'll also see Shamir Anderson making his franchise debut as the Tracker, alongside Clancy Brown as the Harbor. Fans can also expect to see a showdown between Kane and Shimazu, played by Donnie Yen and Hiroyuki Sanada, respectively. Several other newcomers include Scott Adkins, Natalie Tena, and surprisingly, pop star Rina Sawayama, making her film debut. With such an impressive cast, fans can expect John Wick Chapter 4 to be possibly the most high-octane, entertaining addition to the franchise yet. With that being said, where will John Wick go after the fourth film? <laughs> So, what's next for the action franchise after Chapter 4? Although the film has yet to be released, fans are already looking forward to the future of the franchise. Luckily for them, John Wick Chapter 4 will certainly be far from the last addition to the series. It's recently been revealed that John Wick will be making his return in a spin-off series to the film titled Ballerina. This will focus more on Ana de Armas' character and will feature many other actors from the franchise, including the previously mentioned Ian McShane and Lance Reddick, as well as Angelica Houston returning as the director. This, however, isn't the only John Wick spin-off show planned for the future. There will also be a series titled Continental, which will focus on Winston back in the 70s and the origins of the hotel where much of the John Wick story unfolds from. It will be especially interesting to see the origin story of the Continental, which will serve as the purpose of further building the world of John Wick. Both of these shows are set to be released on Peacock and will be aired on Prime Video internationally. Although fans can look forward to the shows after Chapter 4, will there be an eventual John Wick Chapter 5? Although the film has not been entirely confirmed, it appears increasingly likely that this will happen at some point. With the series releasing its first four films in somewhat rapid succession, it might make sense to let the series breathe for a bit before the fifth film gets made. Especially because we don't know how the fourth film is going to play out. It may be entirely possible that this is where the series ends for now. With many fans eager to learn everything they can about the upcoming entry into the series, what can we expect in the new film? Hear what both Lawrence Fishburne and the director of the film, Chad Stileski, had to say about the movie. No more guns, dog. No more bullets! Wait, they hit me.
Moving on, what did Stileski and Fishburne say about the movie? Stileski was recently interviewed about the film and was asked about what fans can expect from some of the film's action sequences. From the sounds of it, it appears there will be plenty of chaotic fun to be had in the upcoming movie. As he simply put it, ninjas in cars I guess. I don't know. It's always ninjas, man. It appears that this is a quick hint at some of the high octane action we'll be seeing in John Wick Chapter 4. Who could be disappointed with ninjas in cars? He would go on to add that the film will be slightly nostalgic and kind of what they want, but subverted enough to be different and fresh. It appears John Wick Chapter 4 will be the perfect blend of what fans have already come to love about the series, while still innovating on the formula that made it so popular in the first place. He would go on to explain that the film introduces plenty of new characters who will inform audiences more about Wick's troubled past. While not outright denying that the film will have an additional sequel, Stileski simply said that the film offers a conclusion to the overarching story told throughout the first three movies. Finally, he added that, like the other three movies, fans will get to see John Wick suffer plenty, which he explained was where much of the action stems from. Lawrence Fishburne would go on to sum up much of what Stileski said, eloquently stating why fans should be hyped up for the upcoming film. He simply said that the film goes deeper than the previous three and is the best one yet. He would go on to explain that fans should look forward to the opening of the film, the impressive set pieces, and some new characters who are a lot of fun. After hearing this, fans should certainly be looking forward to this next entry in the series. However, there's one person we haven't heard from yet, and that's the man himself, Keanu Reeves. What did the star of the film have to say about the upcoming project? He did warn you. Shot my dog. I get it. We gotta go. Finally, what did Reeves himself have to say about the upcoming film? If there's one person you likely want to hear talk about John Wick more than anybody, it's John Wick himself. Keanu hasn't said much about the film, but what he did say will likely whet fans' appetites for the mayhem they have come to love the franchise for. His comments came at a recent press conference at the Comic-Con Experience 2022 in Brazil. The main takeaway from his interview was what Keanu admitted about the filming process. He said, John Wick 4 is the hardest movie I've ever made. In terms of action, it's the hardest film I've ever made. But that's what makes it good. The fact that John Wick Chapter 4's action sequences were hard to film can tell us much about what we can expect from the movie. Something being harder to film likely means it's more intricate, complicated, and dynamic. With these being hallmarks of the series' action sequences up until this point, it seems crazy that they're still able to up the ante the fourth time around. With Reeves himself admitting to the difficulty of the film's action sequences, fans can expect some of the craziest stunts and choreography the franchise has ever had. If these comments are any indication, especially when combined with what Stella and Fishburne had to say, fans are in for a real treat with John Wick Chapter 4. Are you pumped for John Wick Chapter 4? What's been your favorite film in the series so far? Any favorite action sequences? What do you think of the upcoming spin-off series Ballerina and Continental? Will you be checking those out as well? Do you think John Wick Chapter 5 is still a possibility? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.